All right. For our next project, we're going to use India ink. And India ink is great to use. It's better than using a black marker because it's really, really black. Um, it's also very permanent, so you can actually lay down ink, and once it dries, you can put washes of watercolor over it or uh, ink washes over it. So it's a really great medium. So we're going to be using this instead of black markers to actually add some contour lines to our hands, um, and then also ink washes so we can add some shadows to our hands. So the first thing you need to know are the supplies that you can use to draw with ink. And you can use any of these supplies. And I'm gonna go through and demonstrate how to use these supplies with your ink. So when you're ready, you're gonna get a little cup of ink. You're just gonna pour it from the big container into the cup of ink. And you wanna have a jar of water too, nearby and a piece of paper towel. Um, and then you're gonna take one of the ink pens, and it's good to take out your sketchbook or a scrap piece of paper and practice this first. But take an ink pen, and this is called an ink pen. This is called the nib, it's the tip of the pen, nib. Not nip, nib. And you're gonna dip the nib, or the tip of the ink pen, into the ink. And you're gonna draw with it. I'm using a thinner ink pen. You can see the tip is very fine. So it's gonna make a fine line. You can use an ink pen that has a thicker tip. If you wanna make thicker contour lines. how it makes a much thicker line. If you look up close at the tip of this, you can actually see that the tip of the nib is much thicker, so you can get a thicker contour line with the thicker top. Um, you can also see that there is this gold thing on the top of the nib and that's a reservoir so as you dip your pen in the ink a little bit of it gathers up into that reservoir so as you draw you can go a longer time without having to re-dip into the ink so it's fun definitely practice with this in your sketchbook before you go to your final project because ink is very permanent and if you make a mistake you're gonna have to find a way to work with it there's no covering it up all right you can also use a bamboo stick. All right, same way, it doesn't have a reservoir, so you can't draw as long with it. You can get a nice line with it, a nice line quality. This also has a thin side and a thicker side. And you can even take a stick from outside and cut it at an angle, like I did here. And try that. So you can really draw with anything. And every different utensil or tool gives you a different line quality. This one gives a nice thick line quality that kind of varies depending on how you turn it. So try different ones and see which ones you're comfortable with. Uh, the other thing that you can do with ink is you can apply ink washes. So that's what you would use the bamboo brush for. You can actually use the bamboo brush also to get a very, very thick line. So again, using the water to roll it into a point so that I can draw with it. And then I'm just dipping it, the tip of it, into the ink. And I could make a nice thick line with that if I wanted. If you want to drop in gray shadows into something, you can actually water down the black ink a little. So I always like to keep a separate little cup handy. And this is actually watered down black ink. So I poured a little bit of water into it first, and then I put a couple drops of the ink into it, and that's gonna make a gray wash. So I've got my jar of water over here, even though you can't see it in the video. Clean my brush. And I just have a little bit of the gray wash on it. 
come out a little darker than I thought it would, so it's always best to practice before you go to the final. Always keep a piece of scrap paper or your sketchbook nearby so you can test it before you apply it.